drop it like it's hot. Oh, hi! Dropping your phone can have consequences. And just like in traffic, when it involves two wheels, those consequences can actually be pretty severe. Sure, there's a bunch of different ways to carry your phone along for the ride. I mean, at the very least, you've got pockets. Unless you're subject to the unfortunate world of pockets on women's pants, using a handlebar phone mount can be a great way to keep your phone front and center so you don't miss a single notification from your digital tether. Well, you should be focusing on riding. Here's an epic four mount battle royale to see what comes out on top and gets the toughest grip on your phone. Sorry. It's just there's a lot of over the top language in the marketing materials for these things. So I don't know, we're just gonna lean into it and go with a bit of a wrestling thing here. From the patent holders of the one inch ball comes a mount that I think is named after a 90s wrestling move. Ram mounts, X grip. All bets are off when it comes to the Clockworks IO mount. It's magnetic personality and preposterous tagline of get clocked may just be the gamble to stun the competition. Quad lock, the people's champ in phone retention reputation. A popular choice due to its signature figure four mounting mechanism that can pin down your phone for as long a count as you like. And our final challenger is the SP Connect. I've got nothing here for wrestling analogies. SP Connect seems to have watched less wrestling or their marketing department just consumes less monster energy drink and Doritos. Which one of these mounts will harness the Narnus and take home the title? Let's take them on an off-road rumble and find out. Dang it, I was really hoping this would prove something. And I guess in a way it kind of did because unfortunately or fortunately, each one of the mounts held onto our precious package perfectly. Now this isn't exactly the roughest terrain and here where we are near Vancouver, we don't exactly have access to a motocross track. But we do have mountain biking. I will get one of these things to fall off or my name is in Ryan F9. Despite being unwieldy on a mountain bike bar, and the fact that on the smaller iPhone 8, it feels like it's not grabbing in the right places, the X grip performed admirably in the shakedown. And the way that it holds the phone means that I don't have to change my phone case or even use any protection if I don't want. You should always use protection. The clock works worked surprisingly well on the motorcycle. It didn't shift, it didn't fall, one, and it- Phone down. Oh, that one, it fell off. Oh. Oh. Uh, it's broken. Ryan, sorry. The quad lock is a tag team effort with the required phone case and mount sold separately. The case feels plasticky and hard in your hand, and it ruins the buttons of your phone. I mean, not literally, but through the case, your buttons feel mushy and almost impossible to push. It did, however, hold on for the duration of the ride. As soon as you open the SP Connect box, you can feel that a lot of thought has gone into the design. From the packaging down to the way the rubber spacers for the mount are notched to allow them to open and close with the mount. While similar to the quad lock, the SP Connect is a little shakier while holding onto your phone in extreme conditions. It does do an admirable job overall. It goes up to the top rope, off the top rope, I'm the greatest, oh, come and get an X grip. Yeah, just gonna do that and then all oh, my magnetic personality will attract the wind, bro. It's just, just, just. So, which one of these is gonna come out on top in this cage match? Three out of four performed really well off-road, so uh, I guess it's gonna come down to other features? Well, entering the ring with an awkward entrance because the box opens counterintuitively and the branding makes me feel like I'm being non-consensually Vegas. Seriously, it's like the phone mount is wearing Ed Hardy and whispering into my phone's earpiece, shh, quiet. 
Oh, God. You're beautiful. Oh. Is the clock with a K. Works with the W. Magnetic IO mount. It works really well as a way to use your phone as a watch instead of an Apple watch. But ooh, it gets tossed out of the ring first. Just didn't have what it takes to hold on in that really rough terrain. But maybe if you're out there riding a lot of chrome and a half helmet, that's the thing for you. The Ram Mount X Grip is big and bulky. The bar mount portion feels like it was designed by a mediocre plumber. Plus, ours came out of the box with non-functioning screws. Manufacturing mistakes happen. This one just happened to happen to a person with a platform. Fortunately, I was able to use one of the other Ram mounts that I just happened to have on hand. And that is its secret move. It's part of the massive Ram ecosystem, which means there's a ton of parts out there that you can interchange and combine to basically mount anything you want to your bar. This thing is gigantic. I'm not sure if it's because of steroids or perhaps maybe it's bulk and one inch balls are the key to great strength. Regardless, it's big size and simplicity makes it a target and oh, it gets tossed out of the ring next. The quad lock, despite being a little fiddly to get on sometimes, clings tenaciously to your phone. Cling tenaciously to my buttocks. Oh, wait, what's this? Both of them. Quadlock gets flagged for flagrant misconduct. Further inspection of the site reveals that when using a quadlock mount on certain motorcycles, they have been known to cause vibration damage to your smartphone. Quadlock recommends the use of an additional vibration dampener. Looks like it's either pony up an extra 60 bucks or suffer the consequences. Quadlock is out of here. Ooh. Yellow. Uh oh, hi, YouTube comment section. It is, yeah, the, the DOD, right. Uh-huh, yeah, we did have this video go up and pulled it down. Yeah, we pulled it down. Uh, because you wanted more data on phone mounts. <laughs> yeah, data on phone mounts. Hey, who are you talking to? Oh, it's the YouTube comments section. Don't tell him I'm here. Ryan says he's not here. <laughs> Turns out, some phone mounts hold on better than others. That being said, they can actually end up holding on too tight causing vibration from your motorcycle's engine to go up, transfer through, and damage the optical image stabilization system of your phone. Now, you can buy add-ons that are vibration dampeners for a few of these brands that are involved here. But, let's be honest, this is the kind of thing that should be built in from the get-go to the mount, not like a add-to-cart later thing that Quadlock does. I will say, at least Quadlock is fairly upfront about it. SP Connect, however, if you go to any online retailer to buy the Moto Pro mount, you will see that it says the mount itself has up to 40% vibration dampening in the description. It's damping. And those same retailers sell the vibration module for up to 60% vibration dampening. That's 100% vibration reduction. No, oh, that doesn't make any sense. Yes, what makes even less sense is if you go all the way to SP Connect's website and search vibration, the only thing to come up is the vibration module that happens to be also a MagSafe charger, which they've already paid Apple to be part of the MagSafe system. Any other mention of vibration dampeners falls under the description and in these tiny little links which say anti-vibration module, but when you click on those, says 404 error. So I gave up on that. So you can strap some rubber onto anything and pass less vibration through it. So what I did is I took some accelerometers and strapped them onto each mount without any additional vibration dampening as they come out of the package to see what's happening. I ran tests on my KTM 990 at startup, idle, and at 7,000 RPM in fifth gear to get some performance benchmarks for each mount. The results were pretty confusing at first, because I don't have a physics degree. But after beating my head against a wall until something useful came out and having Ryan help me with my homework, I actually managed to parse some useful numbers. Using the standard deviation in the change of angle over the X, Y, Z axis across time for each of the phone mounts at the same RPM, we get the following data. And keep in mind, none of these mounts had the additional vibration dampeners you could purchase. This is just what you would get vibration-wise if you just bought the mount and no one told you about vibration or upsold you anything. The RAM mount vibrates a ton over the SP Connect and Quadlock on the X and Y axis. 
I mean, look at that. A whopping 2,053% more than the SP Connect and almost 600% more than the quad lock on the X axis. But on the Z, it actually outperforms both of them. Overall, I bet it doesn't cause much damage to your phone because it's up there wobbling like a drunken sailor. But all that wobbling means you can see your phone about as well as a drunken sailor too. So I still don't know if the SP Connect has vibration dampening built into it. But the data shows it way outperformed the quad lock in our test. With quad lock having 342% more vibration on the X axis, 160% on the Y, and 195% more on the Z or Z. I'd say get a vibration dampener to alleviate any concerns. If you can find one, SP Connect. And if you're not getting any protection, the SP Connect actually does a pretty good job at isolating your phone from vibration. It held onto the phone tightly in all the off-road scenarios. It's nicely designed, relatively easy to get the phone in and out of, more adjustable than the quad lock, smaller and less obtrusive than the RAM mount, and the mandatory case feels really nice in the hand. Wow. SP Connect didn't go all no holds barred on their marketing. And it turns out what you don't want is the phone mount that holds onto your phone in the most like extreme and like strong way, subsequently shaking the crap out of it. What you want is the phone mount that holds onto it the right way. Oh, what's this? With a whopper of a price of $134 for just the mount, the Peak Design comes in and tosses SP Connect out of the ring. They're here to steal the belt. Even their bicycle mount, which has no dampening, which we added to the testing at the last minute, has on average 218% less vibration than the SP Connect. What an upset. Is this even allowed? That light's got a hold on me. Tell by the way I'm talking